Good morning, Comstock High School. Today is Monday, March 11th, and this is Tillman and Buddy Boy Tay bringing you today's announcements. For today's lunches, there will be a choice of chicken drumsticks, barbecue chicken, pizza, chicken nuggets, deli turkey, and fajita style chicken. SAT wow, dubious, questionable or doubtful. Example, the ethically dubious world of patent medicines was born. A special happy birthday. And a special happy birthday to Audrey Attic, Dennis Letts, and Micaiah Gregory. Let's head over to today's day in history. All right. Hey, Paul. Hey, Justrell. Hey, Cole. Hey, Vince. So, what's today in history? What's today in history? Okay. According to Shakespeare, on this date in history, in the year 1302, again, according to Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet were married. Wow. So a little bit of uh, trivia for you literature freak literature freaks out there. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. On Friday, March 15th, during 7th hour, NHS is hosting a pancake breakfast. Tickets will be sold at lunch for $5 a ticket. The last day tickets will be sold is on March 14th. Students, if they've bought a ticket, will be excused from 7th hour on this day. Now down to Hamilton's hideout. Good morning, Comstock High School. I am here with Aries Osuela, Mr. Hamilton. We are here to announce the Colt credit winners of the latest drawing. All right, the first winner is Adam Greatlow. Right. Dakota Conway. Thomas Duncan. Azaria Merritt. Merritt. <laughs> and Kanaya Coleman. Congratulations, guys. Come see Mr. Hamilton by the end of the day. Thank you. Hey, guys. For tomorrow's weather, you'll have a high of 43 and a low of 30. So, yeah. Mr. Bagwell, Mr. Bagwell. <laughs> Rapid fire question, go. What makes you the most angry? People. What's your favorite type of food? Burritos. Favorite movie as a child? Land Before Time. Last show you binge watched? Schitt's Creek. What can you see from your window? Probably a tree. What's your schedule these days? Lonely. Lonely. Do you consider yourself a good liar? Yes. Who is the greatest role model? My grandma. If you could live in any home on television series, what would it be? Probably one from Desperate Housewives. How do you handle jet lag? I don't. What are you horrible at? My patience. Best, pla best place you visited? Toronto. Favorite type of music? Country. All right, and that is rapid fire questions with Mr. Bagwell. Thank you, Mr. Bagwell. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Our next blood drive is Wednesday, March 13th in the Colt Center from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you would like to donate, see Anthony Whitehead. Let's head on over to the German word of the day. We don't care about Hi, Comstock. Welcome to the German word of the day. This is Tillman and Grant. Guten Morgen, Comstock High School. Herzlich willkommen zum deutschen Wort des Tages. And on Friday, there was unfortunately no German word in the announcements. I know all of you missed it. But today, we will give you the solution from Thursday. We had a little story on Thursday, and it was your job to say what is wrong. And um, there was one thing wrong. The first German democracy after World War II that is not right. We had democracy earlier than World War II. So, a little history lesson. In 1871, the proclamation of the German Empire uh, was in Versailles near Paris. In the Hall of Mirrors in Paris, in the um, castle Versailles, 
very um, historic place, the Hall of Mirrors. Um, there was a German Empire founded. I know it's unusual that the German Empire was founded in uh, France, but that's why I said it, because I thought some people would think that um, there was a German-French war that um, ended in 1871 and the Germans defeated France and kind of, as a revenge, they founded their own empire in their castle. So, um, yeah, later then the, uh, the France people did things against us in that um, castle in the Hall of Mirrors. But um, uh, that's it. So that 1871, the German Empire already had a parliament. It still had an emperor, a monarchy, but it had a parliament that was elected by the people. And then in 1918, after World War I, the first German Republic was uh, founded. The Weimarer Republik. Weimarer Republik because from Weimar, a German city, where the constitution was made. So that's history. The mistake was the uh, first German democracy after World War II. That was wrong. It was earlier. So congratulations to those people who got chocolate. And... Of course, more people want to get some German candy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, there's a new chance for you. A new word. What is it? Uh, die Fastnacht. Pretty good pronunciation. Die Fastnacht. If you know what Die Fastnacht is, then just contact me at the buyer, T -L -L -M, at comstock, ts dot org, or on Instagram, the German word, dot com stock, or on Snapchat, at Taliban, whatever you prefer, contact me. And please add your seventh hour teacher when you contact me so that I know where I can go with the prize if you're right. Back to you. Back to you. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Student government is still selling spirit t shirts, the cost is $8. Please go to Ms. Polson's classroom, room 202, to purchase. Now let's head over down to sports. <laughs> For sports today, Winter Sports Awards Night will be held on Wednesday, March 20th in Comstock Auditorium. Start time is 6.30. See you there. If you have any news that needs to be sent out, please contact any of us here at the WBNC or email us at WBNC at ComstockPS.org. This has been Tillman and TVS bringing you today's announcements. CC you later. They say you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here.